One of the things the census really tells us is that diversity is in our future. Uh, whites only accounted for 8% of the growth in the United States over the last 10 years, and uh, Hispanics accounted for half of that growth. And that's really important, especially for the younger part of the population, because for the under 18 population, there's actually decline of white children in the U.S. All of the growth that we have in the child population this last decade has to do with Hispanics and Asians and other minority groups, not whites. Uh, I think this is a huge statement of where we're going for the rest of this uh, century, really. Uh, the last century, we began with people coming in from other parts of the world, uh, and they eventually moved into the mainstream of American life, uh, sometimes with some trouble, sometimes very easily, uh, but we found it was very important for us. It's even more important for us this next century. We're getting older. Uh, the population over age 45 grew 18 times faster uh, than the population under age 45. Uh, so that's all you have to say to know how fast we're aging in this country. And the reason that's happening is because now all of the baby boomers are over age 45, and the first baby boomer turned uh, 65 last January. And uh, so for the next 20 years, uh, the baby boomers are going to be plodding ahead into seniorhood. So, so we're becoming older, and that's why it's so important that we have these younger people coming in from other parts of the world, higher fertility for Hispanics, which is very important. Uh, and uh, this really tells us that uh, in our society, uh, we're going to become much more diverse from the bottom up. Uh, and, and from that perspective, we need to understand that if we're going to make any, any headway in terms of our economic development, in terms of our allocation of resources, in terms of understanding what social mobility means all over again in the United States for new generations of young Americans. And I think that these census results just put an exclamation point on all of that. Typically, we're a nation of mobility. We have one of the highest migration rates in the, in the world, and it's been very important to keep our economy fueled. People could always move somewhere else if they couldn't find a job where they were. Uh, they moved because they liked to move somewhere, and there were employment opportunities there, and that helped to create more employment opportunities. Since 2006, we had a huge migration downturn in the United States, not just short-term migration, people moving across town, but also long-term migration, people, people moving from one state to another, from one metropolitan area to another. Why is this? Because we've had a double whammy that hit us. On the one hand, we've had this recession, which began in December 2007, a, a nationwide recession, which means you can't find jobs pretty much anywhere. There's no point in picking up and moving to some place where there's jobs, because there aren't too many places like that. And secondly, the housing market just went bust. We had the boom in the housing market, the middle part of the decade, uh, flourishing places around the country, Las Vegas, Orlando, Phoenix. Uh, you know, people could buy homes without putting very much down, and a huge uh, increase in construction in those areas. And then that all went bust around 2006 and into 2007. And then there were crises in the financial industry, and it became very difficult for people to get loans, people to get mortgages. So they're not only stuck in the same town because they can't find jobs elsewhere, they're stuck in the same house <laughs> because they can't buy another one or they can't sell the one they're in. We had the lowest level of migration since the end of World War II. We always like to think of ourselves as a melting pot, and we all have common interests. But what we, in reality, what we have right now in the United States is a young, multi-ethnic, largely Hispanic, African-American, and Asian-dominated young, youthful, young adult population, still majority whites, but it's tipping close, not too far down the road, and then an older population, which is largely white. That older population grew up at a time when there weren't too many immigrants, uh, where there was a strong middle class, where they could expect that the government could do things for them. And they're now getting old and trying to rely on Social Security and Medicare and understanding that maybe they're not going to get everything that they thought they were going to get. And not on top of that, maybe many of the pensions that they thought they had weren't going to be there. On the other hand, we have young people who, uh, you know, may not be hostile to those older people wanting those kinds of things, but they know definitely 
uh, that they want to be able to have good education for their kids, affordable housing, good infrastructure in their communities, a welcoming environment.